welcome to episode four of the Outdoor Journey. I'm here solo today, which is uh, thought of which is makes me quite anxious. I'm also doing sharp edge, which also makes me quite anxious because it's sharp and it's an edge. Um, so uh, I'm going to take the walk along here. Strip the camera around and see where we're going. Lovely little country walk, birds tweeting. I think we'll sort of be going up there shortly. And I shall come back to you very shortly when we start making our little ascent. from the start. Let's spin it around in a minute. Everyone seems to be taking this more gradual path. But I'm never want to do the easy thing. I want to go this way. As you can see. So this is unbelievable traction non-existent haven't used the barbed wire fence to get up here this is crazy this is like a 1980s alfa romeo trying to go up a hill in the wet it's not happening i'm certainly fit enough i'm taking big long strides but i can't get any grip in the ground you see the grip so you can get an idea of how steep it is. It's very steep. Wow, oh, okay. I'll tell you when I get to the top. Also great to see from um, episode two of the outdoor jury was Skidor in there, Skidor over there. And uh that was amazing. Um, I think maybe that could be Lonscale fell in front of it, which makes sense. Um, and uh, we could see Blen Cathra and I just said, oh, I've got to do that, it looks so impressive. And here I am. Heading up there. And I just came from down there. It is crazy, crazy steep path. My calves are burning, but it's good, it's good, I'm warmed up. I'm definitely getting fitter and I'm feeling mentally very strong, so I'll need that to uh, get over my fear of, of sharp edge. Um, not so much to worry about the heights, I'm worried about having done sharp edge, I've got a really serious, basically rock climb to do, an A, a grade A um, scramble. Um, up, I think it was what's called Foul Crag onto the summit of Blaine Cathra, but uh, I'll be pretty euphoric when I've got that done. See you in a bit. So, that's me. Hopefully you can see the distance to the backdrop of Skidor. Wonderful. Um, got quite a steep bit now, as you can see. Quite tough. Give you an idea. Not as steep as before though. This is quite nice. I'm coming to the conclusion. I'm about to meet the path 
that I should have taken from the pub. Lovely little path now. We've done the suddenly just looked down there and thought, wow, that's where I've just come from. Um, it's weird when you sort of hiking alone and you get involved in the mad monkeys in your own head. If you have mad monkeys. If you don't, I recommend you get some. They're great from madmonkeys.co.uk you want them rattling around in your head for the rest of your life and uh, so yeah you suddenly realise that you've come quite a steep little but this is quite a it's quite a bit of exposure here um, let's see how good these oh, yep there we have it just a little I expect I'm going to be facing a lot worse than that which I will see when I get over this hill over there and I think I'm definitely going to go oh my god we'll see we'll see at the top of that hill there and there it was Sharp Edge and Blencathra suddenly appeared before me the blue sky backdrop looked amazing Blencathra looked in super high definition I've got to say it looked absolutely terrifying but there was no going back Striding Edge a couple of weeks ago I really found my feet but this was something else altogether. Crag. I think it's Falkrag anyway, to the top of there and then you've got the top of the Cathra is uh, up there. So it's really hot to get rid of this fleece.
broken up this last bit before sharp edge I uh, thought I had quite a way to go and I just got my head down and got up this bit of path here and then suddenly there it is it's there and I'm quite happy about it the YouTube videos that I've seen seem to make it out to be Everest or something it looks quite nice and I'm going to really enjoy this really I'm looking forward to this Rather than take the easiest side path, I decided to climb up onto the top. I kept on scrambling over the rocks, looking up at the deep blue sky. Eventually there it was, the big reveal. The absolutely awesome sharp edge. And my heart was pounding at this point. not elevated, not be a lie. Okay so far.
down referred to as bad step. So let's not make one. Let's not give it any reputation. I think it's a bad step in the eye of the sky apparently it's like a 10 meter drop into the ocean. But if you fall down there, that wouldn't be nice. Low to the ground and then slide down on your ass. Some beautiful markings caused by the crab bonds or the windy road. Every time I climb, I seem to find this difficult route. And then I look over to the right hand side, and then there's another path. I'm going to get onto the Lake District National Park, tell them to ban nano paths. They don't teach you any useful experiences. Oh, there's a nice guy. We'll traverse. Oh, look at that. I knew watching all those Everest videos would uh, come in handy one day. 
really enjoy this surprise at my strength really um, I've worked on my fitness and I've been eating lots of pizzas lately I try and build my stamina up pizza is good for that I'm gonna have a massive pizza tonight Well, I just finished show our bench about to show you behind us. Catherine and now I'm on Ben Cathra looking at Skiddo and it's getting windier and windier. I'm glad I've looked at the top. Time to get back down. It's done for the indoor Jordy. sharp edge just so rewarding it was a great challenge for me two weeks beforehand I'd done Helvellyn and Striding Edge and really put some demons to bed on on that um, sharp edge was just like next level um, not as long as Striding Edge but definitely um, more exposed and I just felt so good and then this wonderful wonderful rock face I was uh, looking at and I was able to just go back to my childhood what a fantastic experience I love this place I want to come back and bring my kids with me
had to admit, most people came up Halls Fell Ridge, and I was going down it. Hello. I already just came up a rather scary, sharp edge, and looking down on Halls Fell, it looked actually worse than Sharp Edge, and I was actually heading down over. It was uh, challenging to say the least. in the Lake District, even more so than Helvellyn. And Helvellyn was a beautiful day because it was sunny and Helvellyn. And then the amazing like trick of nature, some snowflakes fell, which is unreal. Um, but this is, this is absolutely beautiful. This is, wow, I'm totally at peace. Um, I've decided to come down a hall's fell, which if I spin it around, let's see what I've just come through. Quite a tough uh, climb. Just look at this though, look at this ridge. Can't bend any more further back. Look at that down there. All this caused by glaciers just scratching the hell out of the hard rock. Taking away the soft rock on the top and, and also caused by plates pushing up rock from the from below all the millions and millions, hundreds of millions of years. It is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So, skiddo, and um, so I'm gonna head down there. I've just had to take some layers off because it's a bit warm now. Uh, it's very daunting just looking down at that valley there. So I'm gonna have to like scooch down there. The zoom. Oh, it's just, ooh. It feels like sort of like a Himalaya proportion. Um, but uh, anyway, so I've got um, also you know, this candy kind of mint cake, N NRG. Must be kind of American, it was NRG, KMC NRG. Wish I was the marketing manager for Candle Mint Cake Company. Um, and I would play responsibility for this amazing packaging. <laughs> I'm eating now.
So here we are, coming down from, where do we come from? Oh, we've just come down the, uh, let me just check that map, let's get into the next. We've just come down from Blencathra, Blencathra by Halls Fell. Halls Fell, thank you very much. So I've got a sidekick today, for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. What's your name? Paul. Paul, nice Paul. Paul nice. from Burnley. Paul from Burnley. Do you support Burnley? Uh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Sean Deutsch. Well, I'm actually from Blackburn, so. All right. Oh, we've got, got one of our lads at Blackburn at the minute. So that's it. Outdoor Jordy, over and out. outdoor Geordie's Den. This is where the film editing happens. Um, I want to say a little bit about uh, my Blen Cathra video. Um, unfortunately, on the most important bit, which was Sharp Edge, uh, I didn't get the footage quite right. Uh, I ended up all you can see is like my hands and my feet because I was obviously scrambling a bit. Um, but it was such a good day and the ascent uh, was fantastic. Um, and the, the weather was absolutely superb, the scenery was great. I fell in love with this mountain, so much so that I've gone back two weeks later and I'm just in the process of starting to edit that video now. Uh, upcoming is uh, Cheviot, um, which, uh, which I will always refer to as the Swamp Monster Mountain, um, and the Cheviot Horseshoe, which we did uh, up Cheviot and um, started off at Housey Crags. Uh, Hedge Hope. Cumfell and then down a big valley and then back up the valley to um, uh, Cheviot and then down a long 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 path and you can see how sick I was at the end <laughs> and before I get chased by sheep so that's all to come and then I had a fantastic day met, made a new friend um, called uh, Lee Chamberlain and he's a drone uh, expert and video editing expert and uh, he really helped me uh, I'm a great gable green gable Brandreth and Grey Knots video so that's all coming up as well so bear with us um, give us a like give us a subscribe share with your friends or whatever and um, we'll see you on Cheviot right after this video